Hello everybody and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a pause menu uh, to allow you to pause your game uh, during gameplay. Uh, so first of all we're going to create uh, two scripts. We're going to create a pause script and we're also going to create uh, another script which we can actually use to test uh, which is going to be called move object. Now the move object one is going to become uh, very clear uh, very soon. Uh, so you open up the pause script and hopefully Visual Studio loads up. There we go. Um, that's quite, it's actually very simple to implement um, in its most basic form. So we're going to start with a Boolean uh, called paused. We can set this to false. Uh, then in the update, we are going to check for if input dot get key down. And we'll use escape for our pause menu. Uh, key code dot escape. You can use whatever. Uh, key you want to within this uh, key code allows you to sort of pick any keyboard on the key so I mean, if you want to use F1 or F10 you can but for this we're going to go with escape um, what we're going to do here is we're going to do paused equals not paused now what this does is uh, it basically changes it to the opposite of what it currently is set to so if this is currently set to false it sets it to true if it's currently set to true it sets it to false um, and we're then going to add an if statement below this to go if paused, then time dot time uh, time scale is equal to zero. Uh, basically, what this does is it sets the actual. So when the game is normally running, the time scale is set to one, meaning that things move at a normal pace and everything's running at just a, a standard speed. If you set the time scale to 0.5, everything would be sort of be running in slow motion. If you set the time scale to zero, nothing happens and everything is sort of stopped pretty much. Uh, else uh, time dot time scale one so if this game's pause then set the time so that nothing should be moving if time scale is equal to one then we just want the game to run normally because it's not paused uh, to test this uh, i'm just going to use the old gui system so we're going to use on on yeah, on gui um if we go gui dot label uh new rect uh, we'll start 10 10 100 20. So you've got x, y, width and height. And then comma. Make sure you don't forget your semicolons at the end of each line. Um, what we're going to do here is put paused. Uh, and we're going to surround it in an if statement, if paused. So you don't need to put if paused equals equals true. You can do. Uh, but if you just do if paused, it will just it works the same as doing that. Um, so we're literally just seeing if the game is paused, then display this text. So this is, you know, this is a pause menu in its most basic form. So what we need to do actually to make sure it runs is, oops, remove that, uh, add the pause script onto, for this scene, we're just gonna put it on the main camera. So make sure you drag it on uh, to the inspector view. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna press escape and the pause text has appeared. Let me put this in, uh, let's put it in 16 by nine. So you can just about see up there. If I press escape again, it's gone. If I hold escape, it's not gonna do anything. It's literally checking every time I press. So now we know that the text is appearing, but is the time scale changing? Well, we don't know. So let's make sure. Let's create a simple scene to test this. If we drag our camera up a little bit, let's say put the Y on five, let's rotate it down a bit. It doesn't really matter what you do here. Um, to create, you know, a simple scene. Uh, we'll then, uh, if we press F on that to focus, let's create a 3D object of a cube. Um, let's create a new material actually. So right click in your Project create uh, material, let's say cube. We drag this onto the cube, go here, and set the cube to be red. Perfect. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is actually press F, create empty, ob blah, game object, create empty, put the cube inside. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna offset the cube. So I'm gonna set this to perhaps minus two, this to one. What this does is we can actually with move object, we're gonna make the cube rotate like this. We can see that it's moving. Cause if we just did it on the spot, it might be slightly hard to see. Um, you know, if you've got your scene set up a certain way. So we're just gonna make this cube sort of spin around. So let's drag move object onto here. And we're just gonna do a very basic uh, transform dot rotate. Um, uh, well, that's just a flick. That's vector three, I believe. Yeah, uh, new vector three. Uh, zero, 90, zero, and then times time dot delta time. 
and that should be perfect. So this should now rotate on the y-axis by 90 degrees constantly, hopefully. There you go, you can see that it's doing that, and if we press escape, it stops. If we press it again, it starts again. Press escape, it stops. So we're stopping the movements, what's happening in game. So the script is actually just sort of the update function of it, of it rotating is being stopped because the game is now paused, the time scale is zero, so nothing should be happening. But we come out of the pause menu and it's working again. Now, of course, I know a lot of people are going to probably be asking, well, how do I display an actual pause menu? Well, we can do that as well. So we just set up a basic UI uh, pause menu. So if we create a panel here, let's check the game view. Um, where's our panel? There it is. Let's create uh, something a bit darker, perhaps less transparency. Let's scale this down. If you go to uh, this tool here, hold shift, scale it down, center it, center it. You see, see those blue lines? Uh, let's add some text onto here. UI text uh, paused. Uh, you can use the um, other text systems that are within Unity, but I just prefer to use the standard UI system. It makes things a bit easier for me personally. Uh, so paused. Drag this up, uh, there we go, so maybe the text to white, yeah, that works. You know, and within this you could put your buttons on here, so uh, UI, button, I don't know, whatever you'd have on here, so this could be your quit, options, uh, restart. Uh, we won't mess around with that now, we're just going to literally, um, you know, just enable this on and off. Uh, so what we can do here is actually call this uh, paused UI. Uh, and then we can go into here, go into this, go game object, pause menu. Uh, and we can just simply do pause menu dot set active paused. Because if the pause menu is true, then we want this to be active. So we now, uh, oh, actually, one, one thing we want to do is make this public actually. Public. Pause menu. Uh, by default, we'll just set this to be hidden. Uh, if we go to our camera where our pause script is, you'll see it's looking for the pause menu. Drag on that UI menu, save that, run the game. You press escape, it will appear. You go and appear. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna look a bit different because we didn't set the uh, canvas up correctly for this, but that's fine. Um, it's just because I haven't got it set up with uh, not this uh, set up to constant pixel size. You want to scale with screen size, really. Uh, one way to fix that, just go to 720p. How does that look on there? That looks fine. 1280, 720. There you go. I've just set that up for mine. So when it's uh, full screens, it should look the same. Yeah, good. And it still appears and disappears. And obviously, you want to set up your buttons however you want to do them. So set one to quit. Um, you know, it's all editable and make it whatever you will. But um, that's a simple sort of way to pause your game and create a simple pause menu up here. Um, I'll be covering sort of more UI in another tutorial in terms of how to use buttons to manipulate various things. But I know for the most part, people just be wondering how to make a pause menu sort of affect their game and make it even appear. Um, so that's sort of a start. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Any questions, let me know. Any problems, leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.